Tangents to a circle. Question 1. Find the length of the tangent from the point P, 3,8, to the circle x square plus y square equals to 25. Now this is a very interesting set here where we are not using the distance formula or the length formula, right? Uh, many of the students are using length formula which everybody uses to find distance between two points and that is distance is equals to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square right so that is the formula which gives you length between the two points right in this set however there is a difference we don't really need the second point to find the length and that's the beauty of these set of questions we don't need to know the second point and this is what you learn here and we will use basic Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the tangent and I'll show you how okay so that is how this is a unique set and that's why I have a separate playlist for these questions right so we are given a point here P which is 3 comma 8 and that's the circle x square plus y square equals to 25 now you know equation of a circle is x square plus y square equals to r square right x square plus y square equals to r square so here r is 5 square root of 25 so this circle has a radius of 5 right and the center is always at the origin so this circle will have center at origin 0 0 correct and radius is for this circle 5 correct so we know that the radius of this circle is 5 now let's draw a tangent from here to the circle now if you join if you so that seems to be a good line for a tangent so let's say this is our approximate tangent from point P to the circle correct now let this point where the tangent touches the circle be Q right in that case we'll join Q with the center so when we join Q with the center OQ will be the radius correct and one more important thing which you should know and you know already is that the tangent will always be at right angles to this radius correct so this is the property which we are going to use to find the length PQ PQ is the length of the tangent which we need to find correct now so in this triangle we need to find PQ we already know OQ OQ is the radius of this circle which is 5 correct and OP is unknown at present but OP can be found using Pythagorean theorem right so if I drop a perpendicular from P to the horizontal x-axis then what happens see we have this right angle triangle here correct we have this triangle here and we know this side is 3 units correct so this is 3 units and our height of this is 8 the y value is okay now 3 and 8 their squares when added will give a square of OP right that's the Pythagorean theorem right so we'll use that basic theorem we say OP square is equals to 3 square plus 8 square correct now 3 square is 9 9 plus 64 and then when you add it we get 73 right so we get 73 as OP square now we know 73 is OP square and we know QO so we can find QP do you see that so QP could be found as OQ or we can write QP square plus OQ square should be equals to OP square correct because in this particular triangle that is the right angle and OP is our hypotenuse correct so we know what OP is we know what QP is QP is 5 so 5 squared is 25 plus OQ square equals to OP square is 73 right so from here we can rearrange and find what OQ is OQ will be equals to 73 minus 25 that is OQ square so we'll square root it to get our answer do you see that so that is how we can find the length of the tangent from a point to the circle do you see that so 73 
minus 25 is equals to 48, which is close to 7, right? 7 square, which is 49. So let me write here 48 square root for the time being. And square root of 48 is equals to 6.92, so which is around 6.92 approximately. Right? So the length of the tangent from the point P, P is 6.92. So our answer is 6.92 units. Do you see that? So the beauty here is that we don't really have to find the point Q, right? It could be any point. Another important thing for you to note is that from this external point, you can always draw two tangents, right? So you could have drawn a tangent on this side, right? Which will be kind of symmetrical to this side and get the same result, right? So that is how we can find length of the tangent from a given point to a circle without actually knowing the second point, that means the point on the circle, right? And I have a couple of examples following this where now you should try to write down your answer before seeing my solution, right? So, so once you do that, you should be very comfortable. So at least after two videos, the third and fourth should be taken as kind of practice test, okay? So see my solutions after you write your own answer. Thank you and all the best.